Well, Bedard is back, and with the fishbowl has assumed an even greater form. After missing about 40 days, it felt like more, Bedard's now been back for three games and has scored a total of six points, with three tonight against the Carolina Hurricanes, and it could have been four, but we'll get to that. Bedard, he's just getting more and more powerful. The fishbowl is absorbing the souls of goalies he scores on. He's got a linear progression on points. By the end of the season, he'll be scoring like 20 in a game. Anyway, in the third, the Chicago Blackhawks, who are awful, are down 5-1 to the Carolina Hurricanes. Bedard gets the puck in the circle. He stretches it to his forehand and just beats the goalie with a beautiful shot. But this was the one that wouldn't count as the Chicago Blackhawks would be ruled offside. So that's not ideal. Bedard, who also had an assist on the first goal scored by Chicago at the end of the second to Felino, would then claw one back for Chicago on the PP. Honestly, I'm not going to fluff him up too much. This was a beautiful play by Johnson and Kurashev, who draws a lot of attention, then finds Bedard pretty much wide open. Probably would have been a bit more skillful to miss that shot, but Bedard would also contribute to the third Chicago goal as he slings it on net and his buddy Tyler Johnson is there to finish. The score is not lying though, and I don't have any surprise at the end. The Blackhawks would lose this one. It was their 21st straight road loss, and they'd be outshot 42-17. Right now, it can't be fun to be a Chicago Blackhawk player. I mean, even for Bedard, it must feel like he's got all the pressure of the world on his shoulders. This is pretty insane, but since coming back, he's either scored or assisted all but one Chicago Blackhawks goal. It reminds me a lot of when he played for Halifax in the World Juniors, except Chicago's brutal and he can't just single-handedly roll other teams. But that's all I've got for you guys today. Let me know what you thought of the game. What did you watch tonight? I look forward to reading your comments, especially on my graph down below.